Good morning, traders. It is 5.33 a.m. May 6, 2016. It's Friday. I got some coffee, so I'm doing pretty good. So if you didn't check out my market view video yesterday evening, go ahead and check that out if you want to see my views on the market. Um, I was just running out of time in the mornings here, so I figured I'd do a one in the evening. Non-farm payrolls are this morning. That could have a, an effect on the trading day. Certainly could have an effect on the dollar and gold. So um, the jobs numbers obviously impact um, the, this kind of Fed fog that overhangs um, anything having to do with the market and uh, what, what happens in the future. But let's check out some trade setups this morning. So MPC triggered this uh, for today. These are all for the May 20th options. So what that means is, is these were triggered to, um, so that if you trade, if you're selling options, they would expire May 20th. So you wanna take that expiration. If you were just going to play the, this as a pure stock play, um, you could use whatever means as an exit, but um, but it's meant to be, you know, a 10-day trade. So Marathon Petroleum, uh, this is the first energy stock that's come along in a little while. Um, so if you look, it's, it looks like it's got some, it's fallen into this range here where there's quite a lot of chop. So there's been a lot of, of shares traded in this little area here um, back in uh, April so and it's at the bottom of that range uh, depending if it pops or not um, um, it, it, this is has some support here so I would be a little reticent to trade it uh, unless I was getting a good price one thing to note is that it does have a dividend that will come off the stock, I think, the 16th or something like that. So I um, want to check that out. And let's see, earnings, how did it How did it respond to earnings? Yeah, see, so earnings shooting star down the next day. So this is definitely something that you can go into, especially if you continue to not like the energy market or energy stocks, oil. Uh, ASGN on assignment is the next one so if you look at we look at this guy um, it's interesting because it's had quite a bit of volume here lately again under the 200 day moving average went up and hit immediately sold off um, so and and it's had more volume lately than it than it has this up move it actually it's interesting how it looks similar to the other the other one and again it's it's kind of hovering at this little support area I do like this though because it's at the bottom of this um, back here before we get into all of our stuff so like this little area right here back at at the earnings 425 six seven uh, all the, those closing bars and opening bars there could act as resistance to keep the price down so I, I do like this trade um, I may have to take off a trade or two to kind of enter some of these trades today LPL financial holdings Inc investment brokerage so this is some more of the stuff that we have been seeing come up on the, the trade setups credit services investment brokerage brokerages so again this kind of waterfall down gap down uh, January and then it buying back up interesting how almost um, non-event for earnings which is interesting so it came filled the gap um, and after huge volume here this is interesting it's so far away from the 200 day um, this looks like a corrective up move uh, just the slope of it compared to the down move is just weak and you don't really see it accelerating up so um, this is one that I would like 
as well. Uh, again, it, it comes down to some of this comes down to are you going to get the right options price? You know, if you put in, a, if you if you uh, um, if you try to sell these at the mid price, are you going to get filled? How, and how far is the bid ask spread on some of these trades? So um, this guy looks like it trades a million shares, no problem. So, but sometimes that isn't always um, isn't always indicative of options liquidity. So you have to be you have to be careful. But I do like that one. eBay showed up yet again. Um, it it actually did sell off. Mm, no. It basically opened up higher and then sold off and closed. Really, quite the same as uh, the Nasdaq or the Spy here. So it's in this range. If it were to go back up to, uh, let's say, yeah, twenty-four thirty-five or something like that, it becomes interesting to me. In fact, it, it's kind of interesting now. Uh, it does have a kind of a tight trading range here. And uh, you can, t if you haven't taken this and you want to have another chance at it, you can. Um, it, yeah, a lot of these are, are on the tipping point of, of possibly breaking down. They're at support right now, so um, yeah, you might want to wait until they get into the top, toward the top of the range, and and start testing resistance and take them. Or if you're a breakout trader, um, you can you can take them on a breakdown. I'm. Uh, it's interesting, you know, as you can probably tell from the way that I trade. I I do not trade breakouts very much or with with a whole lot of confidence. I'd like to see, you know, uh, if it breaks out and then um, pulls back, then I like it. Then I want to hit it, because. Uh, but I, I like to see the support line broken and then test and then test it and then I like to short it as opposed to hit it, getting it broken um, seeing it break down the first time a lot of traders or breakout traders or breakdown traders or how um, but that that's not me and you know unless the way I look at support and resistance is the longer the more times it tests that support and resistance line the the more times that the more likely it is that the next time it's going to break on through so especially like if you have a downtrend um, which yeah, so if you have a downtrend and uh, you know it say it tests it tests it tests it, you're like well the third or fourth time it's probably going to break out. So, anyway, looking at that, looking at some of the trades that I have on Goldman Sachs, great trade, con continued lower slightly. Uh, snap on, kind of uh, hitting that that uh, 200 day moving average, hitting resistance, kind of bouncing off of it a little bit, but it did have an up day. So, I'll be watching that one. This one might be a candidate to get out of. If I wanted to go into some of these other trades, um, Monsanto getting destroyed. So that was a, this is a nice one for me. Uh, gold, looking for an update today. We'll see with the jobs number and uh, some of the other. Uh, this pharmaceuticals, it had a nice strong update. We'll see if that continues. You, so you could hit that one. Uh, this, uh, this was a trigger from yesterday. Hawk. Eh, <laughs> you know, fill in the gap. Oh. Uh, let's see the PLC. I don't really want to mess with that. Morgan Stanley, which was one I didn't show uh, yesterday morning. Again, investment brokerage looks like a tepid recovery and could be heading for lower prices. All right, I think I'm going to end it here. So, uh, happy Friday. God bless. Good luck. Good trading. Um, you know, trade them well today. And uh, hope hope you have all the best. If you if you like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Trade Kraken on StockTwits and Twitter. That's K R A K E N. All right, thanks. Bye.